Today's adventure begins here in Anchorage, Alaska, as the recording of this. TGIF, it is Friday, November 15th, 2024. Just took a rideshare vehicle from the hotel I stayed at last night here in Anchorage. And I am leaving Alaska today. Very quick connecting flight in Seattle. And I will be arriving in Las Vegas. Impulsive trip. I was going to originally go to Vegas, decided against it, extended my Alaska trip. I was going to go Thanksgiving week to Vegas. Bailed on those plans, but now I figured, you know what? Heck it. I'll go right now. So that's what I'm doing. Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. I might look unusual without my cap on, my coat on. Took my boots off. This is the uh, most amount of time I'm going to be spending in the cold because I'm going to be on an airplane for majority of the day. Two flights. Washington State, Seattle, and then down to Vegas. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall we? Last few looks of snow for a while. I have definitely got my fill of snow. It has been a really enjoyable trip here to Alaska. The only part I really didn't enjoy was going up to Barrow. That was definitely an experience, but all the rest of it was a pleasant one. I got everything shoved back in here. My boots back in there, folded them up, I kind of like compressed them down into there. That's where my shoes were. Now I got the tennis shoes back on. Things packed away, nice and cozy. I did bring a lot of warm clothes, so when I get to Vegas, might have to purchase a couple t-shirts and maybe just a regular hoodie. We get going. All right, take a look at this deer. Oh, deer. You got this bear. Now, I did not see any bears in the wild. The only bears I saw were at the zoo, the Anchorage Zoo, Alaska Zoo that I went to about a week ago when I was here. And these stuffed ones. I would not want to meet one of these in the wild. I would want to see it from a distance. But if I was this close without any glass protection, it would not end well for me. All right, first leg of this trip is to Seattle, as I stated. Now, I flew Alaska Air the last couple trips. But I'm going to go back to my Delta Airlines, who I utilize more than all the other ones. Delta Airlines 922 to Seattle is scheduled. Ooh. It doesn't say on time, it says scheduled. 2.10 at B8. I don't like the schedule. It doesn't say, it doesn't say there's been any changes. It doesn't say a cancellation, but it also doesn't say on time. Nonetheless, I'm looking for B8. It's very mellow in here. Not a lot of people. Here are the checkpoints. A lot of times I'll use words which sometimes aren't correct words, but in this case it is, because it actually says checkpoint right there. See? Checkpoint. Not a lot of people in line for the checkpoint. Actually, one person in line besides me. A whole one person. Just me and Peppy. Le Pew. Just noticing there's a barber shop right here. Take a look at this, right outside the line. Bush Pilots Barber Shop. It's got the barber shop pole there, maybe even a smaller one on the corner. And if you need to get cash out, there's an ATM right by the door. That's interesting, right? Yeah, right here at the right here at the check-in line. That took a whopping one minute to go through the checkpoint. Not bad at all. Had to remove the shoes, remove the laptop, remove the belt. You know, par for the course. Pretty standard. The first flight is going to be just a few minutes over three and a half hours. The second flight's going to be just a little over two and a half hours. So it's going to be a lot of time. I'm thinking about maybe watching some Vegas films. I got a few in mind that are Vegas mo movies that are either filmed in Vegas or based on Vegas. But I want to shake Ted's Stevens hand here and say thank you for the pleasant trip to Alaska. Look at this guy. He's looking like he's doing some little uh, harpooning over here from the top of this. Like it was like a tree, like a tree or something right there. I think that's what he's doing. He's got this big like stick with a little uh, jagged thing on the end of it. It's been fun, Moose. It's been really fun. Man, I've loved the snow. I love the ice. Didn't like sliding around on the ice. I don't like driving on the ice. But I do love this weather. 
piping hot caffeinated beverage achieved right here. And Starbucks has the little Christmas. I wonder if we can get any Christmassy stuff up, uh, decorated up in Vegas yet. That'd be kind of neat. I'm kind of going to Vegas with no game plan. I do a lot of things with no game plan. I went with a peppermint mocha latte no whip. I figured, you know what? Heck it. Got plenty of time, so I'm just kind of... Oh, look, look how empty this corridor is here leading down to the gates. Oh, there's a guy on a Zamboni. Cleaning the floors on the Zamboni right there. Getting all the moose droppings up on the Zamboni. I'm not using that word correctly, I know, but fascinated by these floor cleaning machines. Cheers. This is the content, folks. <laughs> it's going around and around and around. I always like to show different airports that sell gum. The Anchorage, Alaska one sells gum. I didn't even know that Mad was even still a magazine. But check it out. They have the Holiday Stocking Stuffer Edition right there. I guess Mad just keeps on, uh, keeps on going all these years. I don't know if I'm going to get any salmon souvenirs, but they have quite a few here. Also, I'm excited about this Vegas trip because I'm trip because I'm staying on the strip, on the Vegas strip, which I rarely, if ever, do. But I've never stayed right in the heart of the strip. The store has some very creative t-shirts. Check out the Pink Floyd spoof here. The dark side of the loon. Spirit of the wilderness. Spirit catching a fish. There was one time I stayed at Circus Circus, which is kind of on the strip, but it's a little farther up. I'm going to be staying kind of right in the heart of it this time. Usually I stay over on the Fremont District, near the plaza, near Fremont and all that, which is like old Vegas. But I'm going to stay right in the belly of the beast this time. If you like this, this is what this state is now telling me after I visited. They were glad to have me. Now they want me to take a hike. At this time frame, there's no news over at the Hudson News Stand. In fact, this whole little section here, over near the gate where I'm going to be waiting for a little while, is pretty empty. When I landed here, there were people sitting on all these. There was like a lot more people in this area. When I arrived here a while back at the beginning of this trip, now this, uh, this little section is pretty empty. We got all the little luggage here. These are some serious snow boots. Look at this. It's got either rocks or maybe that's gold. Yeah, look. Nuggets of gold. Zamboni guy is back. Except now he's not cleaning the floor. He's picking up the stuff. 1240 here in Anchorage. It's 26 degrees. Possible flurries. Snow out there. And where I'm heading for the short connecting flight. It's 46 degrees. A little bit warmer in Seattle. And then Vegas right now is 61 degrees at the moment, and I'm going to be landing between 10 and 11 p.m. Vegas time, where it'll be 45. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty pleasant few days and a nice weekend. This is interesting. Guys down there using that little push thing to clear a spot for the wheels to go. And the plane I'm going to take off here at B8 is going to arrive. Almost looks like a snow version of a lawnmower. Look at 
look at all these. So you got the truck with the snow plow in the front. You got a little small plane that just either landed or took off. And then you got all these pieces of heavy machinery that are made for removing snow. They're all doing a little U-turn, heading back the other direction. There's a bunch of them. That's weird. They're like, all like they're all just going in a circle. Okay. It's like a, they're just going in a complete circle. People getting off this plane or getting off on the tarmac, kind of like I did the last couple of flights I did up to Barra or Barra. Interesting, the big pile of snow there the foreground. Boarding in a half hour. There's a few people over here now. A few people. Turn around that we're going to need to do to meet it. So what I'm going to ask is uh, several things that will help expedite the boarding process. The first one being that we have a very small boarding area, so I am going to ask that you please not come up and approach this open area until we call your specific zone. If everybody stands or awaits Sitting in seat 15F.
in Seattle. Six thirty-six here in Seattle at the airport. My next flight boards at seven nineteen. It looks like there's a few different airlines going to Vegas. Oh, and there's somewhere. Two nine four nine. On time. B eleven. Looking for gate B. Hello. Not far of a commute because the gate I just got off of is just right next to B11. It's not to go too far. Now there's no ice or snow on the ground here in this neck of the woods at this time, at least today. But there is like some artistic renderings of ice. I can't stay away from ice. So a couple days ago, my original plan was to stay in Anchorage one more day and then tomorrow I was gonna fly to Seattle. And then I was gonna be in Seattle two days then I was going to fly home back to Central Florida. I decided just to change it up and fly out of Anchorage today to Seattle and from Seattle to Vegas. And I'll be in Vegas for a pretty good series of days. Yeah, just mixing it up. Last minute decision. Interesting. There's like little fish along the ground here. Look, there's like a little fish carvings in the ground. There's some smaller fish. And I watched all of Ocean's Eleven. What a great cast. What a great movie. I've never seen it before. In fact, I don't even know what it was about. But now, I mean, I've always heard the name Ocean's Eleven, and after watching it, now I know why it's called Ocean's Eleven. No spoilers, but yeah, pretty pretty good. And all, all Vegas, all Vegas area, we're in the same section I'm gonna be staying in. Not sure what these fish are. A couple different size of the Seattle Space Needle. You got one that's about half the size of the taller version, right there. For $19.99, you get yourself a Seattle t-shirt. I don't think I'm going to get one, but yeah, I have a Seattle t-shirt here. Just kind of kind of nice looking. All right, this is totally interesting. So I'm going in here from Anchorage, top one. I have uh, gotten off of the, out of the jetway and all that, landed at B-11. You see B-11, that's the same, I think I might be getting on the same plane. Not to go back to Anchorage, but I think it's the same plane that I just got of, I think I'm gonna be, and I actually picked the same se uh, seat section. I might be sitting in the same exact seat on the same plane for the connecting flight. I don't know if that's ever happened. But right there, Anchorage landed at gate B11, the top one, and then you come over here to Vegas, and you got B11 departing at 759, Delta, Las Vegas, B11. I don't know if that's ever happened. Same plane going to two different spots on the connecting flight, and I happen to have chosen the same seat on both of them. Yeah, anyway, I thought that was interesting. There it is, B11. That's the one I just got off, off of. Probably the only one excited about that, but it's just such a, that's a rarity, it's something that usually doesn't happen. Usually I'm running halfway across the airport to get a connecting flight. But it's like super deja vu. I'm going to be experiencing full deja vu momentarily. I think I'm going to get a snack somewhere. All right. Went with a little uh, snackage from the little gift shop here. We got some uh, country smoker sausages. A little uh, zero sugar lemonade, turkey, bacon wrap, and some sun chips. Devour this before I had to board my flight. Let's say, this does not look good. The flight was supposed to board like 20 minutes ago. No boarding, so I don't know what's going because on. Because the plane isn't here. I mean, it's sitting right there where it landed. It's 41 degrees here. Looks like it's going to be raining. A lot of a lot of rain the next few days here in Seattle, Vegas, where I'm headed right now. It's 49 degrees. Next few days, still looking beautiful. 737. I think this thing was supposed to start loading about 715. So uh, hopefully we load soon.
dang cool at night. like that I am in Vegas serving alcohol in here got some slot machines and gambling machines right here in the airport take a look at that Clark County Harry Reid International Airport pretty sure I've flown into this airport before maybe I haven't all the times I've been to Vegas I would say a majority of them I would drive from LA to here because I don't really remember much of the inside of the Vegas Airport evidently this goes over to ground transportation Remember any of this? Please stand clear of the tram doors. I will. Oh, there's a rabbit. For my safety, for letting me know, do not climb on the rabbit. Selfies are encouraged though. Just no climbing selfies. If you're gonna take a selfie, don't do it while you're climbing. I'm good on the selfie. Make sure you got everything before going through here because there's no re-entry. It's like one of these, like when you're kind of like a weird fair fun house mirror maze walking through here. Except there weren't mirrors, just glass. You know that very famous saying, oh so well, what happens here only happens here. That's right, that's, is that, that's, that's not the saying. Oh uh, yes, it definitely does not feel warm out here. I mean, it is a nice little chill in the air, but nothing like what I have experienced. There are a line of taxis right there. A line of taxis, look at all of this. Wow, I guess it's to start with the first one. There's also an Uber pickup area, so the way taxis work, you walk up here, and the first person is what takes you where you gotta go, but look at the line of taxis. Waiting to take everyone into Sin City. Ooh, there's a lot of people waiting for ride share. Goodness gracious. Okay. beehive of activity in here. Gosh, maybe I should have grabbed a taxi. A lot of people waiting for Ubers. There's corralled over there. And also flooding over this way into all these different lanes of cars. These are all Ubers. I have now been dropped off. Finally caught a rideshare car over here and I'm about to check in for the first time ever staying at the Flamingo, one of the oldest hotels in Vegas. Well, at least on the Strip, from what I was told anyway, from what I've, what I've heard. Not a thousand percent confident on that, so take my word with a grain of salt, but it's definitely old school Vegas Strip, Vegas Strip, Flamingo. All right, all checked into the room. I like the little hue, the light, the little pink light coming off the out of the shower and bathroom area over here. This is pretty nice. I'll turn the other lights on in a moment, but I just wanted to show the regular bathroom light here. You got the bar of soap, you got a tub and a shower, which is very, very nice. You got a flamingo lamp right over here, which you can turn on to get a nice little view of that. There's also a decent sized bed. I think that's a king size bed. There's different rooms that you can get. I believe this is the Flamingo room. I think that's what I booked. You also got the light up here. That's a very prominent light. Very, very bright. You see my shadow over there. I think I'll probably just keep it where it's just that. Also got a closet light over there. Also got the mirror here. Hello, there's me and the reflection, I got my bag put away, but my bag's put away over here. Also got this little relaxing 
couch to look out the window, a little mini fridge down below, lamp, some uh, ice, little ice bucket there, water cups, nice good size room, definitely a good size room here. And that's it. This is where I'm going to be staying for a series of days. Looking out over here across, across the way. Yeah, pretty dang exciting. Oh, this is cool too. Actually, let me look over this way. So the shear and the drapes. So let's do the shear first. Closes automatically. That is like, <laughs> Yes, fancy. And now up is the drape. I want to go completely you know, in privacy here. There you go. Pretty neat. The flamingo staying here right off the strip. Pretty good times. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.